If all goes as planned, Elon Musk's SpaceX plans to launch its first manned mission to Mars by 2029. This will lay the foundation for future colonies to be set up on the Red Planet. And as time goes by, scientists and other spaceflight companies will try to search for more planets like Mars that can be colonized thus making us an interplanetary species. With that in mind, NASA is constantly on the lookout for planets similar to Earth that might have conditions suitable for harboring life. And while doing so, NASA made a discovery that has bamboozled most astronomers. It found a planet that's very identical to Earth and much larger than it. Will this planet be next on Elon Musk's colonization list? Welcome to Lab 360, it's time to explore. Scientists and astronomers are constantly on the lookout for signs of life in outer space to answer that one perpetual question. Are we alone? And in this process, they have ended up finding a number of planets that resemble our very own Earth. For this very purpose, the TESS, also known as the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite was launched on April 18, 2018. It is a space telescope for NASA's Explorer program, designed to search for exoplanets. TESS uses the transit method in an area 400 times larger than that covered by the Kepler mission. The Kepler Space Telescope was NASA's first planet-hunting mission, assigned to search a portion of the Milky Way galaxy for Earth-sized planets orbiting stars outside our solar system. TESS finalizes on planets for further characterization by the James Webb Space Telescope, as well as other large ground-based and space-based telescopes of the future. And in its quest to search exoplanets like ours, TESS has spotted a super-Earth planet orbiting in the habitable zone of a relatively nearby red dwarf star. Relatively nearby as it is just 137 light-years away from Earth, which is still an immense distance. This exoplanet has been named TOA 715b. The reason it's called a super-Earth is because it has a width around 1.5 times that of Earth. Also it is in the region around its star where liquid water would be able to survive without boiling or freezing. This region is called the habitable zone because of the importance of liquid water to life. So TOI 715b was spotted as it crossed the face of its parent red dwarf star TOA 715 during its 19 Earth day orbit. TESS has been using the tiny dips in light that planets cause as they move across the face of their parent stars to find exoplanets since it launched in 2018. Post this, the James Webb Space Telescope will further investigate this super-Earth to reveal characteristics that are important for it to be habitable such as its exact size and if it still possesses an atmosphere. The next step would then be to determine if this planet is a water world just like our Earth further adding to its categorization as a habitable planet. Post this scientists will attempt to confirm the existence of a smaller Earth-sized planet very close to the super-Earth TOA 715b. They plan to name this TOA 715c and if confirmed, it will be the smallest world ever detected by TESS. But reaching these two planets physically will still require immense advancement in technology. On average, the distance between Earth and Mars is approximately 140 million miles. By current means of space transport, it would take anywhere between 5 to 10 months to reach Mars depending on the speed of the launch, the alignment of Earth and Mars, and the length of the journey the spacecraft takes to reach its target. One light year is around 6 trillion kilometers, so 137 light years would be 822 trillion miles. At what point in the future will mankind invent such hypersonic technology to travel such enormous distances, we will only have to wait and watch. Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And be sure to subscribe to Lab360 for the latest revelations in space exploration. Hit the bell icon to stay updated and let's continue to explore together.